What you know about them Crocs? <laughs> Hello, YouTube family. Just came back from Vegas. And unfortunately, the brake light is on in this car. Um, but the brakes feel fine. The brakes are still the OEM brakes. Uh, still the original ones that I had when I purchased the car. And they still feel good. I'm assuming I just need to change the... Uh, um, brake pad sensors um, I actually commented on fresh kicks video a while back and he kind of I don't know he, he was like annoyed that I even commented about the brake light um, because I was watching Nur Humidi and uh, he had the brake light that was stuck on his uh, dash even though his brakes were fine and it ended up being the clock spring so I told uh, fresh kicks I was like yo dude it might be your uh, clock spring because he had just changed um, his paddles and uh, I know it's you, you don't necessarily touch the clock spring but I mean BMWs are so touchy it's like I wouldn't be surprised if you change your paddle shifters and your clock spring freaking turn or the clock spring goes bad <laughs> but anyways um because I saw his video I now know I just need to change my brake pad sensors um I tried to clear it uh the manual way and I'll show you guys in another video when I do get this uh car service it's been a year i put maybe 2500 miles on it so it does need an oil change i recommend doing it every year and also i'm going to change the brake pad sensors and do a brake fluid flush and i try and do it at least every other um oil change i did get something in the mail so um this is a detailer for the ceramic coating it's the same brand you don't want to use different kind of wax it may wipe off or weaken the ceramic coating so that's what i got i also got some paint matched side reflectors um i have when i first got the car i wrapped this in black and this will just look really clean and as you can see the paint looks nice it's very well matched uh, i got this from auto Technic. i believe this is from ind originally i also got uh, from Auto Technic, a carbon fiber uh, fascia for the steering wheel. I'm kind of getting over the um, suede look, um, only because it's getting kind of worn where I really touch a lot. So I think this will work a little bit better. I'll probably ceramic coat it actually, <laughs> since I'm ceramic coating everything in the car. Um, to get these off, uh, I recommend uh, having a pry tool, but also taping it off. Since I just got this. Um, Detailed I'm gonna try and really tape it off and protect the paint even though I'm planning on repainting this maybe in a few months So when you look at this um, there's tabs on the top So you want to pry from the bottom up and in and out So let me get my pry tool Just like that it comes out um, I was using my fingers also but I previously wrapped this with um, like a flat black um, vinyl from before but after some time I don't know it just kind of looks worn so this should be a really nice upgrade Ah, perfect. And as you can see, nice. Matches really well. Ah, see, uh, this is the brake light that I'm talking about that um, stays on. And um, typically when that stays on, you can try and reset your, your brakes um, because when BMW does service or uh, when you first purchase the car, there's service intervals that will pop up even if your brakes don't need to be replaced it may pop up um, but this is still on after you reset everything likely um, either a your brakes really do need to be um, changed or um, your brake pad sensors so i put the led up in here to see um, make everything nice and clear so let's see how this will look Ooh, that is fresh. 
Let me get the light on this more. So my whole goal was to have the carbon fiber match the um, paddles as well as this right here and kind of have a blend of this raw carbon that comes stock on this car and also this, um, the glossy carbon. Um, it doesn't come with the M logo, but I did order some for my top, uh, for my rims. So I'm assuming I may get an extra one, so hopefully it'll fit right on there. Um, if anything, I may purchase the OEM sticker, even though it's freaking expensive. I've seen them go for like 25 bucks, but I think it may be worth it. Um, but we'll see. If you guys haven't ever taken this off, um, there's just three screws, one right here, one on the bottom, and one right here. They're torque screws. I don't even know the size, but you just don't want to over torque them. Um, just work this off, and I'll show you guys once. So this is what it looks like with it off. Now let me put the new one on. So I just slapped it on. It looks really, really nice. Um, I made sure to get Auto Technic both the paddles and this just so the carbon fiber would really match nicely. You can see the weave is really, really nice, really, really clean. Cool. Up. We're now sawing the car to uh, Vroom. Um, actually, since we bought it, uh, prices have gone up on them, maybe 2500 2800 bucks. so we're making a profit off of it. Basically used the car for free and now uh, giving it back. Um, but, you know, I'll go into more depth about why we're selling the car, but, you know, uh, in this market, it's good to just take advantage of uh, any money that you can get. And... Uh, We'll likely get another hybrid Lexus as a daily commuter, rather than the i3. Um, definitely gonna miss the car, but uh, what can you do? Um, there are other cars that are better commuters than this, so... As sad as it is to see it go, really, um, kind of happy to see it go before it gets old. 